Happy Wednesday. Okay, we're nearing year's end. And now it's time to think about corporate responsibility and some community stabilization practices. Remember, we talk about business. So no matter if you're listening to me from a small business or if you're from real estate or you're from mortgage, corporate responsibility is the same. Okay? A lot of people start giving at the end of the year. Well, now is the time to start looking for 2017. Now is the time to be able to budget what your, what your tax donations are going to be. Taxable, and then sometimes um, if you exceed the amount that you can write off in donations, then what you can do is actually, if you don't cap on it, then write it off as donations. But if you do cap, you can always go and invest money into advertising and marketing with a nonprofit. And that way you can still get your tax write-off for it. What has happened over my two decades of experience? Um, I just actually ran into somebody two nights ago at a birthday party of a friend of somebody I did a loan for back in 2001. Okay, so you're talking 15 years ago, and she remembered me. It was very interesting. She remembered me. She moved. They didn't have her contact information. Well, she moved back, so on and so forth. Long story short, she says, well, God, Bubba, I need to do a refi. Can you help me? And I said, well, of course I can, right? So the, the moral to this is, is when you can be in your community, this just happened to be at a community party, a birthday party, and they had a, a lot of head community people that were there, and she was invited um, by somebody who was local, and it gave me the opportunity to run into her. The amazing part is that 15 years later, she still wanted to do business with me. That means I did something right. Now, her contact information changed. That happens to all of us. There's nothing we can do. We can't do 100% retention. But now is the time to be able to get out in your community. You know, it's, it's amazing when you're, when you're at a toy drive or a food pantry um, or donating work at a, at, a, at a senior citizen center or an orphanage or whatever. It's, it's amazing people you run into that have the same likes that you do. And people like doing business with people who like the same things. That's just it. You know, if you're a runner... A runner would rather do a home purchase through you than somebody who's not a runner. You know, that's a perfect example. There's many of them out there. So what I want you to do is if you want to be known for kindness, you want to be known for service, and you want to help establish communities, okay, now is the time for corporate responsibility. It does not matter how big your team is, your company is, or just you. It's okay. You can make a difference. So now is the time to help build your community, rebuild your community, and stabilize your community. You have the power to do so. And like in a lot of training classes that I teach, when you look at what your gross receipts, we've got clients that are doing two to four hundred million dollars. That's more than the McDonald's down the street. They say we're qualified small businesses because we have less than 500 employees, which is fine. There's less restrictions, so I'm okay being a small business. But when you look at what your gross receipts are, you're not a small business. You're actually a big influence in your community. So now is the time to dedicate some time to be able to dedicate, I don't want to say just money. It's great for donations. Don't get me wrong. Okay? But sometimes it's just time. It's just being out there and helping. All right? So work on the end of this year. And let's work on a 2017 budget and community stabilization program. Um, what we do here is every single team member writes their favorite nonprofit on a piece of paper and we stick it in a jar. And every month we pull out a nonprofit and we make a donation to that nonprofit. And if we can work for them, then we'll work for them. Okay? And that way it goes into all of our team members' favorite nonprofits. So there's one idea for you. Okay? So let's get out. Let's spend some time in the community. Let's establish the brand. Let's get our referrals back up. Okay? And let's be known as the person who gives, not the person who takes. All right? God bless. Have an amazing year. I'll talk to you later.